Hi, I'm Kathy McCormick, Director of Programs at the Office for the Arts at Harvard, which is the umbrella organization for the Ceramics Studio. We are thrilled about the 40th anniversary of the program, which has started as an, a local artist studio and has really evolved into an international study center. We make art, we study art, we study artifacts, we study science. It all happens there. It's a great place. And we look forward to its future building on Nancy Selvage's incredible legacy. So it's Ceramics 40th anniversary, hard to believe. Um, it's a real milestone for the program and it's a milestone for Harvard. This is a program that involves not just the Harvard community, not just our students, but uh, faculty and administrators from around the university, community members from Halston and all of Greater Boston and beyond. It is, in a sense, a laboratory that brings together people from all walks of life who are devoted to this particular form of ceramic art making. We're very proud of the program and happy birthday ceramics. We look forward to celebrating year 50 in not too long a time. Yeah, I'm Hans Ochko. I'm teaching music composition in the music department here at Harvard. And I came to the studio, I guess, three years ago or four years ago for one term. And then I didn't have time anymore, and now I was back for one term, and I took Wayne First's class, which was awesome, which was really amazing. It was also good to meet uh, undergraduates from the college in this setting, so sometimes, I mean, of course we have music concentrators and other students who come into the music department taking our classes, but sometimes um, an economics major I'm not necessarily running into, so it was really nice to share um, the wheel next to a student and to talk about their lives and uh, what they are doing on the wheel. The studio, so I'm as old. I mean, I have been here as uh, oh, 40 years, almost. I guess. I think. Wow. <laughs> yes. Started out of uh, curiosity, and then I uh, really, you know, got so interested in. And I read lots of books on Korean ceramics because I'm originally from Korea and then try to, you know, kind of improvise old traditional work to a modern and my own style. Yeah. Hi, my name is Caroline Lowe. I'm a sophomore in Leverett House and I run Clay All Night, which is the undergraduate studio party held once a semester. Uh, so basically what I do is I organize uh, publicity and uh, shuttles, uh, Clay, making sure that food is there. Uh, and I invite everyone I know down to the studio to come and play with clay. It's really great because most people have had no experience with clay and they have a great time getting really dirty even though they don't expect to. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it gets some people taking classes because they realize that they either have really missed it since they did it in elementary school or high school uh, or it's just something that they're really interested in. The community is, is a huge deal. Um, it's, there's priceless information. You know, every single person is this huge well of knowledge. Um, anytime I have a question, I don't even have to go on the internet, I can usually just ask the person next to me, and they are well versed in what I'm asking uh, about. Um, I mean, I don't know any other studio which is as exciting as trying to keep by all the rules to keep us healthy, you know, cut down on all the dirt and the fumes. Um, but Nancy has been wonderful about that, and she also was wonderful in appreciating so many different styles of people's pottery making and encouraging them, and the other instructors too. And then the camaraderie, you know, I really miss it. In the summer, I'm working in my own studio. And when you don't know quite what to do, you know, you can't decide whether something's dry enough to put it in the bisque and, and you just need a, an objective opinion. There isn't anybody around. Hi, my name is Scott. I took a pottery class here 10 years ago as a college freshman. Uh, didn't touch a wheel again for 10 years and now I'm back as a medical student. I'm really happy to be taking a, a class again at the studio. My name is Jenna and uh, I'm an MBA student in Harvard Business School and this is my second time in the studio. So three minutes ago we had a clay till midnight uh, event with Harvard Business School here and it was my first time touching the clay and I really liked it. Uh, that's why I wanted to take the mini courses here 
Uh, right now I'm, I'm working on my second piece, Century, which is difficult. <laughs> but but uh, I really like this place. It's like it's very really peaceful. I feel like I'm coming here to basically take my stress out and like feel the clay and. Hey, I'm Christopher. I'm a junior at the college. Um, I've been doing ceramics since high school. Um, I mean, the studio is one of the reasons why I came to Harvard, so I think it's awesome. Hi, uh, I'm Forrest Snyder, and I'm the educational coordinator here at the Harvard Ceramics Program. Um, one of the jobs that, that I do is to work with other departments um, in uh, introducing ceramic technology and techniques into their disciplines. So um, one course that I worked with in coordinating a workshop for this year was the anthropology uh, dig in Harvard Yard. They're really good at identifying pieces, but uh, the students had very little knowledge about uh, how the pieces were made. So for instance, they might uh, have a piece of uh, ceramic crockery in their, um, in their screen and recognize that it was earthenware and that it had lead glaze on it and was um, decorated with slip trailing, but they really had no experience with what, how those um, techniques were done. So we had a workshop here um, in the ceramics program and brought those students in, and they got to experience firsthand um, making a clay body, putting a glaze on uh, a piece of a bisque earthenware, and, and doing slip trailing and other types of decoration. Uh, one of the new relationships the ceramics program has built with uh, another department has been the architectural s graduate students over the last couple of semesters. And um, they've done things like developed uh, drinking vessels or tea sets uh, on the computer, fully realized in three dimensions on a computer program following specific um, mathematical formula, if you consider the Fibonacci series or something like that. Um, and then actually uh, milling. Uh, that computer model into styrofoam on a computer controlled machine, bringing that, that uh, styrofoam model here to the ceramics program studio, uh, making a plaster mold from that original, and then slip casting the pieces um, so that they would have a completed ceramic set. I think my first visit was in 1993, and uh, I've been here more or less uh, ever since. Uh, um, graduated in 94, uh, disappeared for a while in Africa and, and random things, but uh, ever since then I've been uh, coming back either summer semesters or uh, now I'm sort of here chronically, um, uh, just uh, working and making things. Um, uh, I think Sean's was uh, the first class that I took. Uh, the only thing I remember from that we had to do self-portrait teapots. Uh, so somewhere uh, there's a little portrait teapot of me in my head, you tip it this way and the tea dribbles out my nose. Hi, I'm Kathy King. I am a ceramic artist who works in uh, with both tiles and vessels, uh, sometimes in installations and oftentimes uh, in individual works. I use a narrative genre within the work and uh, my imagery has a very comic book uh, style to it. I first came to the studio 10 years ago, right out of grad school, invited by Nancy Selvage to be a visiting artist and instructor here, and now, 10 years later, I'm back, and I'm currently the ceramics program assistant, and I have the sheer pleasure of working with Sean, who is the most amazing manager of this facility. She is the heart of the studio and is also an incredibly dynamic instructor and artist herself.